The Tarn Conspiracy, written by Scott Clemens and J.P. Tremisi. Episode 5. Audio file number 3.2, Interrogation of Brandon Jones by FBI Special Agent G. Wiles, November 11th, 2019, Interrogation Room 2, Archangel County Sheriff's Department Headquarters, Township of Archangel, Washington State. This is FBI Special Agent G. Wiles interviewing Mr. Brandon Jones at the headquarters of the Archangel Sheriff's Department. The date is 11-11. The time is 0450. And I'm Brandon Jones recording this interrogation on my own recording equipment at the aforementioned date and time. As I said before, Mr. Jones, this is an interview, not an interrogation. I'm sure that's what you guys told Oswald right up until you pinned Kennedy's murder on him. Mr. Jones, it is very late, and I'm very tired, so in the interest of going home at some point in the next few hours, I'd appreciate it if you abstain from theatrics. There is nothing, nothing theatrical about seeking the truth. Just state the events of the evening prior to your being taken into custody at Mr. Abramov's property. I don't even understand why I'm being held. If it wasn't for me and Sean stopping those right-wing nut jobs, you'd be dealing with a murder right now. When you say right-wing nut jobs, I assume you mean the Sons of Liberty? You know I do. Those guys were plotting a murder. It's them you should be talking to, not me. Why did you decide to jump over the fence and trespass onto Mr. Abramov's property? How do you know about... Oh, I get it. That drone we saw was yours. Why were you watching Ray's house? Please answer the question, Mr. Jones. We only jumped the fence because the security blew us off when we tried to warn them about the Sons of Liberty coming to kill Ray. Did it occur to you that you should contact the authorities? We didn't know the FBI was watching Ray's house. Why didn't you call the local police? I couldn't trust them to do their jobs. Why is that? I'm sure you've already talked to the sheriff. So you know her opinion on me. If I'd have called her office, then her deputies would have blown me off. Or worse, try to concoct some way to pin things on me and Sean rather than on the Sons of Liberty. Why would she do that? Because Sheriff Donovic isn't interested in finding the truth. She's got a re-election to think about, and the Sons of Liberty vote. That's quite an accusation. Look, is there a reason I'm still here? You saw the drone footage. So I'm sure you saw us talking on the intercom before we jumped the fence. You know that I'm telling the truth. Did you see anyone else on the property after you jumped the fence? You mean like security or something? I mean like anyone else. No, there was no one else back there as far as I could tell. Why? Did you see anyone leaving or entering Mr. Abramov's residence at any time after you arrived? I just said no. Did you notice anything strange at any time after you pulled up at Mr. Abramov's residence? I'm not answering any more questions until you tell me what's going on. Mr. Jones- I know something happened. I know you don't think we did it, or else I'd be under arrest. What the hell is going on? After you were detained, it was discovered that there was a fire in the lower floor. Are you serious? I am. Did Ray survive? Mr. Abramov's whereabouts are currently unknown. You mean he's missing? Correct. <sighs> Holy shit. Well, it must have been the Sons of Liberty. That is unlikely. Didn't you hear what I said? They were going there to kill him. That may be so, but given that the Sons of Liberty were intercepted en route to Mr. Abramov's residence, I can say with some certainty that they were not the perpetrators of the arson. You're so sure the fire was set intentionally. There is evidence that a propellant was used to accelerate the fire. What, like gas? Thermite, actually. 
Thermite burns at 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It turns iron powder into molten iron. If someone set a thermite fire in the basement, then how is that structure even still standing? I wonder, how do you know so much about thermite? Everyone who's been paying attention knows about thermite. The government used it to take down the World Trade Centers. It's hard to not know about it. <sighs> of course that's how you know about it. You didn't answer my question about how the house is still standing. The bottom floor of Mr. Abramov's house appears to have been a fire-safe lab of some kind. The walls surrounding the room remained intact, while the fire destroyed the room's contents. What kind of person builds a room like that in their basement? I was hoping you could help us with that. You did speak with Mr. Abramov. We talked about the disappearance of the two kids, not about some kind of secret underground safe room. What did Mr. Abramov have to say about the children? Not much, seeing as I accused him of playing a part in their abduction. What led you believe that he played a part in the disappearances? A tip from an anonymous source. Who was? I can't reveal their name. Mr. Jones, this is a criminal investigation. Failing to name your source is obstruction of justice. Then charge me. We both know it wouldn't have any effect on your investigation. Especially since I'm sure you suspect Ray of setting the fire. Why do you say that? You had a drone in the area. If someone came into the house to set the fire or ran from the scene, then you would have seen them. That still doesn't explain why we would suspect Mr. Abramov. If this room is the kind of secure place you're describing, then I'd bet Ray had some kind of remote self-destruct mechanism built into it just in case someone like the FBI came knocking. That's quite a stretch, Mr. Jones. Do you have a better theory? You and I both know that Ray snatched those kids, except I don't think that's the thing that bothers you about this. I think the thing you're most pissed about is that there are pockets of power your FBI credentials just can't reach. It's like you're trying to breach the outer walls of a fortress, except you can't even find it on the map. <laughs> that's very inventive, Mr. Jones. Very poetic. Does it bother you, Ray and his buddies, have more power than the FBI? That they have more power than all the brass in the Pentagon? Alright Mr. Jones, we're done here. I can see you're not interested in seeing justice served. Yeah, right. I'd just close the file on this one if I were you. This is just another corridor to nowhere. Gran! Gran! Holy shit, dude! I didn't think they were going to let you out. I almost didn't either. Turns out they don't have anything to come after me for, man. Yeah, me either. They just kept asking about Ray. Did they tell you he was missing? Yeah, I heard. What the hell happened? <laughs> the feds say there was a fire in his basement. He had some kind of fireproof lab that destroyed everything inside of it. Holy shit. You think that's what we smelled when we were in the backyard? <laughs> Must have been, man. I think he knew that either the Feds or the Sons of Liberty were coming for him, and he didn't want to risk anyone seeing what he had in there. Jesus. You think the kids were down there? If you would have asked me that when all this started, I would have said yes. Now I don't know about anything anymore. And where could they be? I think they're in the gray zone, man. They might be alive, but they sure aren't living. Wherever they are, or whatever they've become. And what rough beast, it's our come round at last. Something like that, man. Let's just go back to your place. I can drive. I think I'm going to walk back to the store. You can take the car. Dude, no. You need some sleep. I don't think I could sleep right now, even if I wanted to. I went home to toss and turn in a half-sleep, brought on by ragged exhaustion. Dreams plagued me, faces flashing through my mind. I saw my sister and her friend Crystal Mira on the night they disappeared, their expression so set, so determined to fight against Tarn. I saw Thomas and Madison as well, and I heard Madison's screams echoing through the woods as they had when we'd been in the forest. Sean booked a flight out of Spokane for Dallas for the next day. I offered to drive him, but he turned me down. He needed some quiet time to unpack the events of the past few days, and the airport shuttle running from Archangel to Spokane would be just the thing for it. I understood where he was coming from because I felt the same. I'd ask him to Archangel in the hopes of finding out 
what had happened to Thomas Novak, and by default what had happened to my sister and her friend, Crystal Mira. Instead, we found no trace of any of them, and another teen had gone missing in the interim. To say that it was unsatisfying would be an understatement. Simply put, I felt like a failure. Audio file number 3.4 Telephone conversation between Brandon Jones and Sean O'Connor Followed by telephone conversation of Brandon Jones and unidentified female November 21st, 2019 Deck Dominion Cards and Games Township of Archangel, Washington State Hey, Sean. Brandon, hey. How's it going? Oh, you know. Yeah. You heard anything new on the case? No. Unfortunately, the feds apparently are moving their investigation back to their main offices in Spokane and Seattle, which I don't take as a good sign. Yeah, I saw that on the news. Feels a lot like they're giving up. Yeah, that was my impression, too. Still no sign of Ray? No. Or if there is, the feds aren't letting on to it. Yeah, I figured. There isn't much information on the Lake House Mageddon on the internet. Are you surprised? Mm, not really. You still trying to figure this thing out? I'm an independent researcher. You know what I do. How is Texas? New waves of scumbag Californians arriving daily, just like I remember. Makes me want to get the hell out of here before this place gets to L.A. for me to handle. You could always come out to the Pacific Northwest. I think I'll leave that to you. Yeah, there's not enough room up here for you anyways. <laughs> All right, man. You take care. Keep in touch. You as well. Hello? Hi. Uh, I'm trying to reach Brandon Jones. Speaking. Brandon? Yeah, that's me. Who is this? My name is Crystal Mira. S- Sorry, could you repeat that? I said my name is Crystal, Crystal Mira. I was a friend of your sister's. Crystal disappeared 20 years ago. I know, Brandon. That's why I'm calling. I wanted to see if you'd be able to meet. Give me an address, and I'll meet you in five minutes. That might be tough, Brandon. I am not an archangel. I'm not in Washington at all. I live in Kansas City now. Kansas City? What are you doing in Kansas? Missouri, actually. And it's kind of a long story. Is my sister with you? She isn't, Brandon. I'm sorry. But she is part of the reason I wanted to talk to you. Would you be willing to come here? Go to Missouri? What is this about? Your investigation into the disappearances in Archangel have caught the interest of my employer. The investigation? You mean the teens? Yes. What do you know about them? I know that Thomas and Madison are gone. I know that the authorities won't find them. How can you know that? I can explain everything if you can come here. Yeah, I could. It might take me a few days, though. I need to get together enough money for a plane ticket. Don't worry about that. I kind of have to if I want to keep eating. My employer has a considerable amount of resources at our disposal. We would be more than happy to pay for your flight and accommodations. We could even provide a per diem to compensate you for your time while you're here. When are you thinking? I'll have to check my schedule, but do you think you would be free tomorrow? You have been listening to the first season of The Tarn Conspiracy. Written by Scott Clemens and J.P. Termizzi. Starring Derek Carter, Bailey Clemens, Eowyn Clemens, Scott Clemens, Chad Condon, Corey Dick, Jeff Flugeman, Victoria Gordon, Sasha Jenkins, Sam Cobran, Chrissy Coelia, Clarice Lafayette, 
Dave Manning, Gabriel S. Miku, Cecilia Moody, J.P. Termizi, Lexington Vanderberg, and Olivia York. Cover art by J.P. Termizi. Produced and edited by Scott Clemens. Music provided by White Bat Audio and Blue Dot Sessions. You can support the podcast by going to patreon.com forward slash the Tarn Conspiracy. If you'd like to find out more about the cast, crew, or anything else about the Tarn Conspiracy, you can visit our website, www.thetarnconspiracy.com. There you'll find links to special bonus content as well as ways you can support the podcast. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you've enjoyed the project.